In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to CC someone in a reply on Gmail. This quick and easy guide will walk you through the process step by step to help ensure that your emails are effectively communicated to all relevant parties. This can be particularly useful in both professional and personal settings, where keeping everyone in the loop is crucial. To get started, open up your Gmail account. Once you're in your inbox, scroll through and select the email you'd like to respond to. This step is quite straightforward yet fundamental as it sets the stage for your reply. After you've done that, your chosen email will open up, displaying all the conversation details and messages. Next, you'll want to click on the reply icon. You can find this icon usually located at the top right corner of the email, symbolized by a curved arrow pointing left. Clicking this will open a new window where you can draft your reply. This is a critical moment where you shift from reading to actively engaging in communication. Now in the email draft window, you'll see the recipient's email address in the to field. Click on this to field. When you do, a new set of options will appear, allowing you to manage not only who you're replying to, but also who else should be included in the conversation. This is an essential part of effective communication as it puts you in the driver's seat of who receives your message. Once the options display, Display, locate and click on the CC option. This will open a new field labeled CC right below the to field. Here you can add email addresses of those you wish to carbon copy on the email. This action ensures that everyone in the CC field will receive a copy of the email just as the primary recipient does. It's an efficient way to loop in individuals who need to be informed but don't necessarily have to respond directly. With your CC recipient set up, now is your chance to type out your actual response in the text body below. Compose your message with all the relevant details and any necessary context your recipients might need. Remember to keep it concise but informative. After you have drafted your reply and are satisfied with how it reads, take a moment to review both your to and cc fields to ensure all addresses are correct and everyone important is included. Finally, once you've double checked everything and you're sure it's ready to go, click the send button. That's it, you've now successfully CC'd someone in a Gmail reply. This straightforward feature can greatly enhance how you communicate, keeping everyone on the same page. Thank you for watching and happy emailing.